Hey Blitz fans! Hello! Well this is the T28 Defender. Defender. T8 Premium. And it's Jack playing all these games and he fights with a crazy oh, gang gun. Shout, shout out to you guys! These are all <laughs> my replays. I haven't played it yet to be there's fair. There's two hands aces up. and there's two firsts. Thank you sure. to our fantastic supporters. Thanks again guys, you helped make this video possible today. Yep. Um, so you've played 19 games and you've got an 89% win rate with an 87% survival rate and a average damage of 2300 I think it is, it was. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, um, I, I do like this tank compared to the Defender. Yeah, um, 1450 right. hit points which is not bad, a V range of 282 which is good. Mm. So tell me what you think. Um, well, it's a very accurate random firing thing right there because I have a bit of a greasy iPad. But, um, <laughs> Lovely image. <laughs> um, <laughs> We've but, cleaned it now. Yeah. Um, but um, uh, the T28 Defender is very accurate. Unlike the Defender, the shot, the shot doesn't disappear. The enemy does. Yeah, yeah, good point. But the defender's shot will disappear and the enemy will just stay there with no hit points lost. So it's got a, uh, a two and a half second aim time. As you can see, I just loaded two shots here and I did not get spotted. Yeah, its dispersion's not great, uh, I've got to say. Point three it something. It does have three. 10 degrees of gun depression. Yes, 10 degrees of gun depression is very nice. Uh, but the point three seven two gun dispersion over some distance that will probably cause you issues but this gun is far superior to the D25 scene on all their Russian and Chinese tanks and as you'll see you can get many more of your shots in uh, effectively it's much more beginner friendly than the other tank um, what this does not have that the IS-3 has of course is the armor profile yeah. so you've got a about, I think it was, what did I say, it was 200, 220 mil of armor on the front and it's fairly flat so anything with decent pen is going to go straight through you. Yeah, um, uh, but anything with not decent pen will just shoot your hatch obviously so make yeah. sure to cover your hatch with your gun. Yeah, the, the hatches are, I think one was 10 mil and the other was, was a bit more. I was trying to look on uh, blitzhanger.com which is where you can see the stats on this tank at the moment. So the, the magazine reload time is, is a fraction over 20 seconds uh, and your intra, clear, uh, intra, magazine, intra shot reload, I'll get it right, 6.7 6 or 6.6, 6, 6.67, yeah. Anyway, uh, you've got 225mm of penetration on your AP, which is enough, I think, and you've got, uh, what is it, you've got APCR and that's got... Uh, wow, 270, which is a lot at tier 8, I think. Yeah, you need to get this in ASIC while you can, for it's about 3k damage at the moment. Yeah, so if you if you consider going... As you can see, I've got 1k assistance. Right yeah, one, I mean, that was a good game for the assistance damage. And this this is uh, obviously the other way, shooting higher tiers. Um, yes. But I suppose if you go into it thinking you've got 1,200 burst damage in your magazine, and you look at what's around you, um, you can clear a lot of tanks, especially some of them squishy tank destroyers with like yep. no armor at all. If you're getting 18 shots, you just, yeah, you, you can you even really probably can. you could probably get close to clipping a waffle. Yeah, yeah. If you get yeah. close, you'd leave it on like 200 hit points. Yeah, and then you could probably ram him for a bit as well. This sounds like how did this not pen with four HE? I think it's because it hit his. Ah, oh, it did, didn't it? Just he just moved back slightly. Yeah, otherwise you would have got a much bigger roll on that one. Yeah. Um, Watch this shot. Boom. See that's. Electricity. That's the sort. Yeah, it's got a rail gun as opposed to uh, a regular uh, gun. gun that uses uh, explosive uh, powder and what have you to to launch its shells. So. Why it's got a muzzle brake, I'm not too sure really. I mean, I don't really the mechanics of rail guns, but if you don't need to exhaust hot gas, then why do you need a muzzle brake? But maybe someone can explain that one to me who knows a bit about rail guns. Now watch this, boom. That one shot into the waffle. 422 damage there. Uh, boom again. What a and then I budge him a little bit. <laughs> and I, I'm just like, I'm afraid I have to do this. I don't want to, but I have to. I like the way we're called ramming people, budging people, but it is more of a, it's more like that now, isn't it? 
Um, I, I know I'm going to I like the T28 anyway, so I know I'm going to like this tank. I think the extra camo value that this has as a tank destroyer is good, so we use the camo yeah. net, and I think you found that works really well. Again, the stats for this tank will be slightly better on Arakan because all our crew skills are maxed out, so that may vary a little bit for yourself. Um, again, you can see a tank with not a lot of penetration was able to get shots away. There will be a tier nine, but um, it, it wasn't trouble. Does this go in? No. It kind of looks like it might have done, doesn't it? Kind of looks like it hit its tracks or something. I love the uh, redesigned Tesla. Well, we call it Tesla engine because it's got electricity all over it, don't we? But um, I like the redesigned electrical engine with all it the like, fuzzy. It looks like a gun that would be on the back of the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> yeah, that is excellent. The engine looks like a gun that would be on the Millennium Falcon. These shots, there are shots in these games that you'll see that you, you may or may not get away with with an IS-3 Defender. Um, so that's it for now, guys. Uh, we're highly recommended. Scores out of 10? Um, 9. 9 out of 10. I haven't played it, so honestly I can't tell you, but uh, I'm going to start playing it this afternoon. Uh, enjoy the weekend, guys. We shall be back a little bit later. Bye. Bye.